Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it's Pater Review Time. It has been a little bit of time since I've posted a video and I apologize for that. But my wife recently had surgery and I had to take care of her. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So had to put some Pater on hold for a while. But I have some to review now. So here we go. This is from Montana prospector he's an ebay seller he also has a website but i'm only gonna be talking about his pay dirt from ebay right now i purchased two bags from him. well actually i had you know a friend of mine purchased some bags from him and i had him get these two bags specifically and the reason i got these two bags was i wanted to do a comparison of them this one is a half pound bag with no gold added it's just supposed to be natural gold where you get what's in the pay dirt where there's no guaranteed amount of gold, but you will find gold, that type of thing. While this one was his eight ounce bag or his half pound bag that had one gram of gold added. So I wanted to see what the difference would be because let's say if I find a 10th of a gram in this bag, should I find one gram and a 10th if it's both from the same area? So I'm really just curious. I wanted to see which was a better bang for the buck. I'm only going to do one of them today, or actually one in this video, and I will be doing this one in a separate video that will be up later today. So let's get to this one. Let's weigh it up. This again. Now, I will say he does not mark these at all. There is no difference between these bags except for I wrote this on there. One gram. One gram right there. So let's weigh this up now. 8.1 ounces. So it does is over the eight ounces are guaranteed does also come with a business card now let me read you to the description which is a very lengthy one montana golden pater this is montana pater that comes from an old gold rush area this area still produces gold on a small scale today. We do our best to bring the best pay dirt we can find. We test drill any new location to make sure you are getting the best we can get for you, our very valued customer. And we're always looking for better pay dirt too. This is a very small scale operation. This makes it possible to pinpoint the best pay dirt that is available to use and bring to you. Understanding my pay dirt. This is 100% unsearched pay dirt with added gold for a great panning experience every time. This pay dirt runs from four to seven grams per yard. The gold in this pay dirt is mostly 60 to 30 mush. It says mush, but we all know he means mesh. About one to 2% is smaller than 60 mesh and 10 to 15% is 30 to 12 mesh. And about one to 2% is 12 to six mesh. This is unsearched pay dirt that runs about four to seven grams per yard. I I add a small amount of gold to add to the deal. This pater is for the hobbyist that likes to see gold in his or her pan. I will do my best to treat honest repeat customers the best I can afford to. I'll add extra gold for the customer that knows how to treat other people and pay attention to what they are buying. People that don't read the description can be potentially costly and at best extremely annoying and I do not enjoy dealing with them. If you are looking to get rich off this pay dirt, you should look for something else to invest in. If you have a gambling problem, don't to try to make it my problem. I will not give in to unreasonable requests like give me my money back without an unopened product being returned. This is for the hobbyist that understands 800 payout on a three to $20 bag of pay dirt is unlikely. And just want to do some panning and see more, some color and maybe more. And I don't know exactly how much gold is in each particular bag. I test pan about every foot back into the bank to ensure I'm still in the gold. I don't know exactly what's in every pound. It could be 30 colors and a nice picker, or it could be one baby color, and that's why I add gold. Then he goes on and on about how he doesn't take refunds and all this and all that. And due to scammers, I can't guarantee even a speck of gold. If you are, to, if you are honest, you will see gold. But it doesn't matter if I added an ounce of gold to a quarter pound of pater. A scammer will say they didn't get any and try to get their money back. And again, it goes on about refunds and returns and how he doesn't accept them or he does accept them. He charges 20% on and on and on. 
In my opinion, this is an extremely negative description. It is a lot of nonsense in my opinion. This is, again, my opinion only. I don't think you need to tell somebody if they have a gambling problem, it's not your problem. I understand. I used to be a power seller on eBay. I know what it's like to deal with customers, but I didn't put it in my description to say something negative to somebody who hasn't even done anything to you yet. I mean, that's a one case thing. If somebody comes up and they do something negative to you, let deal with them on the side. Don't put it in your description. I don't think you need to put all that negativity in a description. And it is kind of curious, a couple things he says in there though, like how he does not guarantee even a speck of gold. And yet this bag I bought said it was guaranteed one gram of gold. So that's curious why he puts in there. That's a really weird disclaimer to be putting in there. He also says in there, I add gold. So if you add gold, you're guaranteeing gold. So I don't know how he's saying, you know, you don't guarantee gold if you're guaranteeing gold. You can't have it both ways. Now, I also did some math on this, on the amount of gold he says is in his pater. And I'll read it to you again. It this pater runs from four to seven grams per yard. Now, a yard of dirt weighs about 2,000 to 3,000 and up pounds, depending on what the material is, if it's wet and all that. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to say it's only going to weigh 2,000 pounds. And I'm also going to, for the sake of argument, say he's on a really rich spot that is seven grams per yard. And seven divided by 2,000 equals 0 0.0035. So that's not very much per pound of gold, which means in this bag, I should be seeing about 0 0.00175, except for what he added. So n this is not very rich gold. I mean, for the ground he's saying he's on, it's not very rich at all. I mean, I see, he does sell 30 and 50 pound bags, but if you're buying a 30 pound bag from him, you might found a, find a quarter of a gram. That's not very much. And that's on his very rich end and the very lightest of pay dirt. So it's probably going to be less than that. I mean, if you buy 30 pounds of him and find 0.1 to 0.15, you're probably in his numbers, which isn't very good because I've seen what he charges from some of those bags. So enough of that. Let's get to some panning. I need to classify this down, so let's do that. Let's you listen to some music. Nobody's gotten to listen to any music in a while, so let's listen to music now. go as you can see it pretty equal amounts there's probably a little bit more in the plus 10 i did try to break it up with my fingers just to make sure it just wasn't mud or something like that but it's pretty coarse rocks but let's see if there's any magnetite in it a little bit not really that much nothing really on there Nothing on there. So not a lot of magnetite in it, but the real question, is there gold? So I'm going to go find out. I'm going to pan this out and I'm going to be right back and show you the gold I found. Well, finished panning everything out and I have to say it was fairly easy. It did not cloud up the water. It wasn't a messy stuff. I will say the material really reminded me of the material I had from Lesser Family Gold. And I don't remember if that stuff was from Montana as well, but it still looked the same. It looked a lot like crushed ore more than it did just regular dirt. There's a lot of pebbles, a lot of rocks. They were really crushed looking, but they don't say anything in the description about it. So I have no idea. And let's just get to the gold, which is what's most important, I guess. And in the plus 10, Found nothing, nothing at all. Uh, I thought when I was classifying, I'd seen a little piece of something in the plus 10, but I was wrong, unfortunately. In the minus 10 plus 20, I found some gold. 
seven pieces to be exact. So pretty happy with that. In the minus 10, in the minus 20 plus 40, I found even more gold, but not much. About six pieces. Let me zoom you in so you can see. So, pretty happy with that. And then in the minus 40, I found even more gold, but really not much. I guess it is the main pieces there on the left right there. You can see it right there, but not very much. Maybe two, three pieces of tiny little stuff. But and now let's weigh it all up and see what we got. So I'm not going to bother weighing this one or switching it to a boat because it won't really make a difference. I'll let you listen to some music while I do this. It would be a really short song, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's... All right, if I'll stop bumping the table, we'll weigh it all up. In the minus 10 plus 20. Zero point zero four three, or right around there. And then minus 20 plus 40. 0 0.006. And I'm not going to bother with the minus 40, so we'll just add that to this one. It's not going to budge the scale. Well, we'll just add in this. There you go. I missed a piece right here. 0 0.052, and I'll be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review. Let's get right to it. This again was from Montana Prospector. He's an eBay seller. He does have a website, but again, this is just for his pater on eBay. This was his half pound nugget bag. It had no guaranteed amount of gold, but he does say he adds gold. Its cost was $12.97. Shipping was free, so total cost $12.97. Gold are covered right here, 0 0.052 grams of gold. Gold spot on the day I received this was $42.48 which means this gold's value is $2.21, which means my ROI is 17.04%, or on my scale, a 1.7. So really not good. And in fact, it's pretty bad. It's about as bad as you can get almost without finding no gold. So for fun factor, I'm only giving him a two. It is Really not fun not finding gold. I mean, this is a really cheap bag of pay dirt. I, you know, I was tempted to give it a little higher fun factor score just because this is a $13 bag. But there's some $13 bags of pay dirt out there that will give you a lot better ROI than that. And it just this wasn't a good bag. Um, for pay dirt description, I'm giving him a six. He does have a lot of information in his pay dirt. I mean, it, in his description, it's a two pages worth of description. Unfortunately, probably three quarters of it is just really negative comments about how he doesn't trust people and how everyone's trying to scam him and things like that. And it's just, if you're, it just ruins the experience. You don't even want to read it. Once you start reading that and you start seeing all these negative things, you just stop reading. So I'm only giving him a sixer for a description. For Pater quantity and packaging, he is getting a nine. It was over the half pound that he 
states it would be, and it was pretty decent packaging. So nine for that. For customer service and shipping, he's only getting a five. What happens is I'm giving him a 10 for shipping, but he's getting a big fat zero for customer service. The person who purchased this bag of Pater emailed him four different times over the course of two weeks trying to get a reply from him, asking him different questions, assorted questions, and he never got a reply. I mean, there was just no reply to any of his questions on eBay, and it's just unacceptable for he's getting a zero for that. So zero and a 10 equals a five for customer service and shipping. So the total score right here from Montana Prospector, eBay seller, half pound nugget bag is a 4.7. So not very good, not worth it. Um, but I still have to do this one, which is his half pound one gram nugget bag. So it looks like the exact same material, except for this one is supposed to have one gram of gold in it. So we're going to do that. But before I do that, so I'm going to flash up the score in a second, and then we're going to give away the 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's look at the score right here. And now let's give away this 24 karat gold plated dime. And this is going to go to, and I apologize if I butcher your last name, but it's going to Gary Prochaska. So Gary Prochaska, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you and to everyone else. Thanks for watching and happy panning.